G'day, it's Rob here again. Today we're going to do something a bit different. Um, this is more to do with the uh, the making of YouTube videos, I suppose, rather than the watching of them. But um, recently I got a new 1080p digital camera. I got a Nikon Coolpix L820. It's a very nice camera. Um, I want to go to 1080p. So uh, I stepped up from my little old Canon A480. Um, which was only VGA. Anyway, cut to the chase, got my new Nikon and uh, very happy with it. It takes uh, AA batteries, which I like with uh, any camera, video camera, or any camera you're going to use for YouTube. You can just keep feeding those AA's in and you're never going to go flat. So you can, you can run them on any sort of AA you can lay your hands on, basically. Um, and the Nikon takes four AA batteries, whereas my old Canon only took two. Now the problem was when I went to recharge the uh, the uh, double A's, I didn't have a uh, a four position um, a four cell battery charger. I only had a two cell one, so I thought, oh well, time to upgrade. And when I looked on the internet, I found that you could actually buy, believe it or not, battery chargers which uh, recharge ordinary alkaline double A batteries. When I got the nit the Nikon, it came with these four ordinary double-A alkaline batteries and I used them until they ran flat, well near, flat enough that the Nikon wouldn't run on them. They still got charged but they, they just don't have enough oomph to get the Nikon going. And I thought, okay, um, I'll get myself one of these uh, cheap uh, battery chargers off the internet. Um, this one's called an Ultracell and it cost me the princely sum of uh, what was it? It was uh, sixteen dollars and eighty-eight cents Australian delivered. You can buy them a lot more expensively than that um, from um, shops and that around the place. But this is off the internet. Ultracell actually have a website and they have a range of battery chargers and the stuff looks like reasonably good quality. I thought and it does uh, a whole bunch of, of different batteries, double A's and triple A's. Um, but we're looking at double A's here, and it does nickel, nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmium. Um, so when I got uh, rechargeables, I got nickel metal hydride, so, so hydride, so it'd be good for that. But the big question was, how's it go charging up these ordinary old alkaline batteries? You know, like this has been tried before and it generally didn't work very well, but this is a new generation. And on the front, it's got a little display. That looks pretty cool. You get a cord with the Australian uh, end on it, so I suppose whatever country you buy it from, you get the, the correct cord. So we'll give it a demo. We'll see how it goes charging up these um, these batteries. I'll we'll open the box up. Get them out of the way. Play with that, and here she is. Oh, it looks pretty snazzy. Hmm, a scratch on the front. Oh well. Can't speak miracles, I suppose. And then she opens up inside, puts your little all the batteries in there. And it does all sorts of trickery. Uh, uh, you need a magnifying glass to read this, but I did print it off. And it, uh, it basically um, charges double A's, triple A's in nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmium, and alkaline. And it's got overprotection, it's got automatic recognition of the battery type, it's got short circuit protection, it's got a battery repair function. So if the voltage is too low, it'll pre-charge it to repair the battery. All sounds pretty exciting, but does it actually work? Well, that's what we'll find out. So I, um, I took a shot of the, uh, the state of these Nikons, uh, batteries that came with a Nikon, which are actually... Uh, Fujitsu, so they're good quality batteries. I ran them down until the, the Nikon wouldn't run on anymore, and I took a shot of the screen showing uh, battery exhausted, which you'll see uh, now. And uh, I, uh, I put them aside thinking, okay, That'd be a good case to charge up to see if this system really works. So, here's the cord. I do the cord. Oh, it looks to be fairly well made. 
It's all done automatically. There's no controls or anything on this thing. You just stick in your batteries, plug it in and hope for the best. So we'll hook her in. Put in the, the batteries. Mm, here they go, they go. They go that way. Alright. So the positive up this end. And the lid shuts. So now it's just a matter of we'll plug it in and see what happens. Okay, well we've got it plugged in, uh, so it's a matter of now put the power on. I did read the battery, uh, the instructions of the battery, and they, they did say that don't recharge these batteries or they may explode, burn your house down. It was really comforting uh, to read that, but uh, anyway, this is supposed to do it, so I've got it down the shed, so the worst that will happen is it'll burn a hole in the, uh, in the bench, hopefully it doesn't. <laughs> So we'll put on the power and see what happens. Okay, well it lights up. It looks pretty snazzy actually. It's got, uh, it shows the state of the charge in the battery, so it's, it's down. Now apparently you can only recharge these ordinary alkaline batteries about 10 times from what I read up on this. And they also can't be dead flat, but of course it, with the case of the Nikon, it won't run them down to dead flat because the camera just won't operate below a certain point, so that's not an issue. So supposedly I'll get 10 charges out of these old old batteries. So um, it automatically senses the battery type apparently and it does as fast a charge as it can do. So I'm not sure how long this is going to take. So at the end it's supposed to automatically shut down when they're fully charged. It must sense that. It's supposed to have some sort of an integrated circuit in it that senses where the battery um, status is at. So it's just a matter of let it do its thing and we'll come back a bit later when all the action has stopped and we'll just see what's happened. I'll time this and uh, yeah, we'll see if it either blows up or uh, well works. Hopefully it'll work. Well, after almost exactly three and a half hours, the unit has... Uh, switched off. It shows the batteries as fully charged. They're warm. And now we'll try on the camera. So, yep, it's charged them. Well, it's telling me it's charged them. I'll put them in the camera and see what happens. Well, the camera's now running on the recharged alkaline battery, so obviously the, the charger did what it said it would do. It's recharged regular alkaline batteries. The uh, battery indicator on the camera, the little scale shows that it's fully charged and you can see a shot of that now. And overall I'm quite quite happy with it. It's performed uh, well. It's cheap. I particularly like the LED display on the, uh, the um, crystal display on the front. It shows you the charging status. The other ones I've seen just have a little light. This is quite good. It, uh, yeah, it's snazzy, and the whole thing is actually quite quite well designed. I think the lid is probably unnecessary, but I suppose it makes it look good. Um, if I was going to criticise this unit in any way, the only criticism would be that the batteries are a snug fit. They click in firmly. Uh, it's got the contacts are good and solid. They're not going to deform in any way, but they are a snug fit. And when you go to get them out, they take a bit of a tug to get them out. Um, and it did actually mark the end of the battery uh, on this end in the plastic slightly. So they really do hang on when they're fitted. But um, but yes, it certainly did charge them up. Uh, there was no sign of any leakage, the batteries didn't get hot, they were barely warm and they were actually a lot cooler than regular rechargeables so um, yeah, um, I don't think explosion or fire is going to be an issue, I hope not and uh, it'll be interesting now just to see how many recharges I can get out of them so um, at this point, yeah, I'll give it a 9 out of 10 I think it's a good unit and uh, 
for the money, well, it's uh, way, way cheaper than um, a lot of the others on the market. And uh, it's a neat little unit. Okay, I hope you found that interesting. Catch you next time. Cheers.